Back in 2017, federal inspectors for the U.S. Department of Transportation discovered severe problems on some city and county roads and bridges. The governor at that time, Phil Bryant, declared the DOT's findings an emergency, and the legislature went into a special session. 12 News' Cameron Smith spoke with MDOT's executive director, Brad White, who says that that special session birthed the emergency road and bridge relief fund that exists today. At the time, the legislature was called into a special session uh, to come up with a way to address that because if the state did not take steps to address it, our federal funds would become in jeopardy. MDOT will reward the next round of emergency road and bridge repair funds next month. About $570 million has been invested in that fund over the last several years, and with that money, uh, we have set out to administer programs around the state to help local governments uh, repair or either replace bridges. $30 million was approved this session and will go towards projects yet to be selected. Since 2018, the emergency funds have repaired or replaced 350 bridges and some roadways all over the state. Making it easier for those using the roads and bridges in Mississippi. This bridge is on Pine Haven Drive in Clinton. It was selected in the 2023 round of funds, and MDOT says it will be repaired by the city soon. White likes that the program is a data-driven process, and the size of the county or city doesn't matter when applying for the funds. It's all equal ground for all the counties and cities that want to apply and try to seek funds for the needs that they have in their county. This bridge on Colonial Circle was recently repaired in Jackson after being selected in the round of 2022 funds. It's based on criteria like uh, the uh, length of the detour, how much truck traffic is on the roadway, how much uh, regular traffic is on the roadway, the availability of emergency vehicles, school bus traffic. And so all of these things go into a database that is scored where each project is scored and then a list is uh, presented back to the commission that says these are the projects that have ranked the highest in order to receive the funds. If you look at our numbers, we're no longer as a state in a position to where uh, we feel that we're in a state of emergency. Projects for the next round will be selected in the October Transportation Commission meetings. Reporting in Jackson, Cameron Smith, 12 News.